Unit 8. Vocabulary and Listening. A radio programme. Exercise 5. Hi, this is Gavin Healy and you're listening to Cool FM. Today we're talking about superstitions. With me in the studio is psychologist Selma Hughes. But first of all, I'd like to take a few calls from listeners. We've got our first call here from Becky. Hi, Becky. Are you a superstitious person? No, not at all. So you never say things like, touch wood, and you never cross your fingers for good luck? No, never. I don't believe in luck. Yesterday, my friend Helen said, Oh, a black cat walked in front of me this morning. That's really bad luck. That's why I did so badly in the maths test. But I think that's silly. You do badly in the maths test because you don't work hard, not because you see a black cat. <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. Thanks, Becky. We've got another caller on the line now. Hi, is that Darren? Yes, it is. Hello. What do you think about superstitions, Darren? Well, I always thought superstitions were stupid, but I had an experience recently that made me not so sure. Oh? What happened exactly? I was on my way to school, and there was a ladder on the pavement. I didn't think twice about it, and just walked under it. But after that, I had a really bad day. I missed the bus and was late for school. Then I had an argument with my girlfriend. Everything went wrong. And you think that's all because you walked under the ladder? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was just chance. But since then, I haven't walked under any ladders. Hmm. I'm not surprised. OK, let's take our third and final call now. Hello, Tina. What have you got to say about superstitions, Tina? Well, my problem is that I'm too superstitious. Why? What kind of things do you do? Well, I'm always worrying about breaking mirrors or doing anything that might bring me bad luck. When I lost my lucky charm last year, I really thought something terrible was going to happen to me. And did anything terrible happen? No, it didn't actually. But that didn't stop me from being superstitious. It's become a bad habit and I need some help to stop it, but I don't know what to do. Well, stay on the line, Tina, because Selma will have some advice for you right after this next song. I've been waiting to play this all morning. It's Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Unit 8. 